Well, in addition to events and faces, we're adding a third way to help you find all your favorite photos. It's called places. So now we're adding faces and places. A lot of the photos, in fact, all of them are of places, right? They're places we visit, places we go on vacations and trips. And it wouldn't be great if iPhoto can organize your photos around where they were taken. And that's just we've added, also in the library, under events, under faces, we've added places. And when you click on places, what do you see? You see a map. And that map has pins where all your photos were taken. I mean, it couldn't be any easier than that. So how does places work? Places uses a technology called GPS geotagging. Well, GPS chips were finding in more and more things. In fact, they're starting to make their way into cameras. So new cameras like this Nikon Coolpix and the most advanced cell phone on the market, <laughs> hopefully many of you have one, it's the iPhone, it also has a GPS chip in it. And both of these devices embed a geotag right into the photos you take. Well, what's a geotag? It's really simple. It's a big word for longitude and latitude. So for example, when you take a photo, the geotag is automatically assigned by that camera or by the iPhone to the photo you took. Now, it's not that useful to know that I took this photo at 48 degrees, 51 minutes, 33.14 seconds north. So the other thing iPhoto does, it reverse encodes that geotag, and it figures out, well, that's actually at the Eiffel Tower. In fact, it figures out more about it. It's the Eiffel Tower, and that's the city in Paris, and that's in the country of France. And you have access to all that information to use to search your photos or organize them any way you'd like. Now, I know you're probably wondering, well, what about all those photos I took that I didn't have a GPS chip in a camera and it doesn't have a geotag in it? Well, that's easy too. So for example, let's go into this backpacking event. Maybe it's something we did back in 2007. We didn't have a GPS chip in our camera. Well, now when you click on the event, there's a little information button, you flip over the event, and there's a new field up here that says, enter event location. And you just type in where you went on that event. In this case, Yosemite. Well, iPhoto has a database of thousands of locations. It recognizes what you're typing in and figures out that's Yosemite, a great national park in California. It puts a pin on the map right where that is, and it assigns a geotag to all the photos in that event. That simply. So it's really easy for you to add a location to your entire database of photos if you want them all to be placed on the map for you. So where do these maps come from? We actually um, are getting the maps from the Google Map Service. And so if you've ever used Google Maps on the web, you know exactly how to use this map. You double click on it to zoom in. You can go right down to street level and see to the individual street where you were taking those photos. And at any time on the map, when you see a pin, you can just click on it and it'll take you to where you've seen your photos. Oh, in addition to street maps, we also have satellite imagery as well. So you can see satellite images. Again, click on a pin and you go right to the photos taken at that location. And because this is places, it has all the photos you've taken, even if they're across different events, because it's about a place now. So that's places. So places joins faces. It's a brand new feature in iPhone.